pay too much or too little. The IRS won't care if you're paying too much, but they won't care if you pay too little, and they won't necessarily even know if you're paying too much or too little, because if it just looks funny, they might come knocking on your door and say, hey, let's see some of your documents. So, but why do people do accounting for? There are three reasons. That These are the three reasons why people do accounting. One is for internal management decisions. And we spoke about that briefly during the what, is just, you want to know what's going on. You want to know which products and which services are profitable. You want to know where your money's going. You want to know how much you're spending on X, Y, and Z. You want to know how much you're bringing in for A, B, and C. So you want to sound like a song. So you want to know what's going on. Right? So that's internal management. Second reason why people want to need or want accounting is for tax purposes, right? You have to file your taxes here in America. I assume in other countries as well, you have to file your taxes. The government wants to get their taxes. They pay for your roads. They pay for the police, the army, the this, the that. Electricity, maybe you pay for electricity too, but they pay for other stuff, okay? So we have to pay our taxes. And that's, you. in order to file your taxes, you have to know, especially as a small business owner, you have to know what your money coming in and money going out. Now, you could be super generous. And you could just claim all of your income without any deductions for your tax purposes. And you'll pay tax on 100% of your gross revenue, which I don't recommend. And I don't think you want to do that either because why pay more, right? You're going to pay taxes anyways. You have to pay taxes. You're going to be paying tax. Don't pay more. So you claim your deductions. So that's why the second reason why people need to do accounting is to know what their numbers are for tax purposes. They can take that financial statement, their P&L, their revenue and expenses and they can take that and they give it to their tax accountant to say here you go here is my here are my financial statements take this and do my taxes for me so those have to be correct because if they're not correct then the taxes aren't going to be correct right you're either going to pay too much or too little the irs won't care if you're paying too much but they won't care if you pay too little and they won't necessarily even know if you're paying too much or too little because if it just looks funny they might come knocking on your door and say hey let's see some of your documents so you want to do your best to make them accurate. And obviously there's going to be, they realize that if you are a small business, that you're not necessarily going to be having a full-time CFO on staff, right? Okay, fine. But that being said, you do, you are required. Every deduction that you take is required to be substantiated, right? You have to have, you have to be able to substantiate your deduction to say why you are not paying tax on that amount. It's an expense, for example, rent. You're paying rent, you have a lease. You can show, this is my lease. Uh, you, you can show checks that went out. You can show Venmo, however you pay them. You can show the money leaving your bank. You can show where it's going to. So if you had to, you could substantiate those expenses. So that's the second reason why people do accounting, why people need accounting. Now, the third reason why people need accounting is for investors, right? Let's say you're growing your business you're looking to grow your business and you want to go to a bank and get a loan or you want to go to angel investors, you want to go to the venture capitalist world, you want to go out, you want to go to your friend and say, hey, to your father-in-law, you want to say, hey, I've got, my business is doing great. I want, can you loan me $100,000 because I, my business is scheduled and slated and it's I'm planning it's going to grow by 3,000% in the next 36 hours. So you want to go and you have to show them. They're going to say, oh, that's amazing. Uh, can I see the numbers? So you got to have some numbers to show them, right? You got to show them probably some sort of trend of, or a plan. There's going to be a lot involved with that. However, at the base level of investors, so what they're often going to need, right? They're going to need, so for example, public accounts, public firms, public companies, they have to have audited financial statements. What does that mean? It means that an auditor comes in, not the private personal accountant for the company, but an auditor, an external independent auditor comes in, looks at their financial statements and checks various items. They won't, won't check 100%, they'll check various items, the bigger ones usually, and they'll say, let me see all the support for this because they're saying basically these financial statements are correct. So then they give you an audited financial statement. They give you an audited audit report. Audit, audit report hopefully will say it's clean. Your financial statements are accurate with no material misstatements. And then the business will take that audit audit report along with the audited financial statements and they'll take it to the bank or they'll take it to an investor or they'll take it to whoever they want to, to say, hey, look, my financial statements are accurate. So the third reason why people need financial statements and why they need accounting and bookkeeping 
accurately is because they may want to grow their business and get investors. Okay, got it? Perfect. 